Hello and welcome back to Not A Watch Snob. I am your host, Bill, and today we are talking about The history of this watch is as follows. In 1981, Tonio Lamborghini, son of Italian car designer and engineer Ferruccio Lamborghini, designed and branded his first watch. In an effort to branch out of the luxury car industry, he designed a few things, such as watches, purses, and perfumes. Unfortunately for Tonio, nobody seemed to care. Until, in 2008, the Spider was introduced. It was Tonio Lamborghini's fresh start at making watches. Tonio Lamborghini spent years working out the design of this watch that was capable of evoking the brand's true values such as their stylistic design. These watches will run you around $1,600 and they made a big splash at Bezel World in 2008. Tonio Lamborghini came out with other watches such as the 1966, however the Spider was one of his greatest creations. The specs of this watch are as follows. It is a Swiss-made Ronda RL5050B quartz movement in it, which is a movement that you'll see in Luminox as well as a couple other small lower end luxury brands. It also features a 44.3 millimeter case, carbon fiber face, as well as carbon fire detailing on the bracelet. It has a deployment buckle that features Tonio Lamborghini's name as well as the logo engraved on it. It is sandblasted stainless steel, and it features a beautiful, beautiful domed sapphire crystal. The pros and cons of this watch are as follows. Pro. A pro of this watch is that it is actually a very beautiful watch. I mean, it actually kind of looks like you're wearing a supercar. That sort of big, bougie, flashy look that you're going for. The only reason we ever liked Lamborghinis is because they were silly. Overall, if you're looking for sporty, this is the type of watch that you want. However, here comes my rant. Con. I sometimes just hate capitalism. I mean, just stick to what you know, Lamborghini. You are making supercars, stick to the freaking cars. I don't know what you're thinking. Who the hell needs Lamborghini perfume? Who the hell needs Lamborghini purses? The watch to go with the car, maybe if it comes with it, or like an added bonus to the car. I mean, I understand that. It just, stick to what you know. It's like when celebrities try to branch off and be something else. It's like, no, we don't want to hear you sing, William Shatner. I see you walking around town with the girl I love, and I'm like, F you. No, f you, Mr. Shatner. However, the more I wanted to hate this watch, the more I started to fall in love with it. And just like I was when I was a little kid, I was still starstruck by the fact that it was made and designed by Lamborghini. However, while reviewing this watch, I constantly felt like there was something missing. Oh yeah, the car. And just like my hero, Jeremy Clarkson, I took this review to the streets. I grabbed the fastest, most luxurious car I could find. If you were a family of four in 2006. And with all 260 horsepower, I took to the road with confidence. However, while driving around, I realized something. I started to feel uneasy, like I wasn't being true to myself. And just like short men in lifted trucks, I too was compensating for something. The fact that I'll never own a Lamborghini. And then it hit me. Until you actually have the car, this watch is not worth it. Thank you.